Now for check on our pinpoint weather and traffic together. TJ joining us now, and you've been talking all morning, TJ, about some minor changes to the weekend forecast. I want to park it on the beach tomorrow. <laughs> Will I still be able to? Well, if you uh, don't want to get a sunburn, yeah, it might be a, not a bad idea because there might be some extra clouds around tomorrow. I actually like going to the beach when there's a little bit more in the way of cloudiness. I don't have to worry about sunburns and all that kind of stuff. That's just my personal preference. Live city camp picture. We've got some high clouds overhead right now and the sun is up. And the clouds are dimming that sun a little bit for the time being. These clouds will be exiting the area soon. Temperature is 66 degrees. Our winds are calm. But dew point, is, it's a little high at 63. It's a, a tiny bit muggy out there, but not not uncomfortable. 65 in Newport, Westerly 62, Smithfield and Providence in the low to mid 60s. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar is nice and quiet despite the clouds overhead. We're not finding any rain. South Bay Retirement Living in uh, South Kingstown just click back down to 65 degrees. The morning low is that temperature of 65. The satellite radar picture shows a stripe of cloudiness from uh, Provincetown all the way back into northern Rhode Island, all the way back into uh, central Pennsylvania. It's moving northward away from us. We've got high pressure controlling our weather, kind of acting like a muscle man keeping anything away from us, including this front up here in uh, northern New England. It's going to head back northward in the form of a warm front today, and this area of high pressure will promote dry weather for us here in southern New England uh, for the daytime today. Now, tomorrow, there'll be an area of low pressure off to our south and an ocean system that's going to be working its way into the mid-Atlantic states. We're going to be seeing some extra cloudiness from that, I think, throughout the daytime tomorrow. End result, we'll have more in the way of clouds and sunshine, but staying dry, and it'll be a little bit cooler as a result of those extra clouds that will be around throughout the day. Temperatures this afternoon, 85 on the east side, downtown 86 degrees, over into Rumford, 85, heading on down the Pawtucket Avenue all the way down to Riverside, about 85, Warwick, into Cranston, mid to upper 80s, perhaps uh, in uh, the Cranston Warwick corridor along the south coast. 83 in Westerly, Charlestown, 82, 82 degrees over there in Narragansett, Jamestown around 81. The city by the sea, beautiful day down there. Temperatures will be climbing uh, into the uh, uh, 80s throughout the course of the afternoon. Up in northern Rhode Island, temperatures about 85. Chapachic, Greenville 85, Lincoln, Cumberland in the mid 80s. Along the south shore, lower 80s in Westport, New Bedford, 85 degrees up there in Taunton. Sunshine, high clouds at the beaches today, about 80 degrees. Out on the bay, winds from the southeast in the afternoon, 5 to 10 knots, small waves, high tide around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. There is Isaac spinning in the uh, Caribbean Sea to the south of the Dominican Republic and Haiti. It's going to be working its way on off to the uh, north and west, coming close to Florida, but the track now has it moving into Alabama, Mississippi area as a Category 1 hurricane during the uh, Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. We'll be watching Isaac closely. No immediate threat to us. Just some extra clouds around tomorrow, 80 degrees, sunshine, 80 degrees, maybe some rain showers late Monday into early Tuesday and then drying out for the middle part of next week. And you can get your updated future cast at WPRI.com. Now it's time to get an update on our